Let's do an intro. All right, guys. So today we have a Div 2 match between Preference Farms Remembers and Contingency. And I believe these are the top two teams in the Div 2 right now. Both undefeated. I could be wrong. I haven't had a chance to check all my stats yet. But Man, if only we planned and did our research. But <laughs> it is Chair League, so here we go. And somebody Trap had to get their license renewed. Butts into a chair. Pepperidge Farm bans a leaming. Yeah. I Who think are we playing? Cursed Hollows? Is that actually right? Should be Cursed Hollows. The draft okay. link pulls from it. So again, another Cursed Hollow map. And we have a first ban on Zarya. Uh, after our and previous it, line. Yeah. Oh, I should... Right. Maybe uh, maybe just say Zarya's banned. Just saying that. Yeah. They both said that in chat already. Thirst and... No. Only two people from one team have said it though yeah but they're that's the away team they're making sure the other team knows that it is a ban but we have already discussed saying that it is so false that pickup um like we talked previously this is nice in that it gives you the global mobility not one of the top assassins out there right now but it's uh the mobility is great on this map who's top assassin <sighs> that's that's a big one i don't think there is a full top top assassin you know, you've got the Leeming, the Chromie that will put the damage numbers out there, but all the other ones, like, there's probably a good solid five, I would say, that are, you know, you've got a Vala that's usually picked quite a bit. We got a Malph pickup. That seems pretty popular. Yeah, well, with his changes, he has made it right to the front line there. He's one of the top healers in the game. Um, last game, we did see that he pulled the Twilight Dream out, and especially if you've got a strong front line coming against you, that can just be devastating. I've played against it and just gotten blown up after that major silence. Curse those equalization payments. There's no reason <laughs> mouse should be top just like that. <laughs> That's a little Canadian joke for you, everybody. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> so we've got a pickup. Yeah, and like we were saying, the Solid Assassin has the damage output there. Strafe is being put more and more into it to poke back lines. Uh, you used that, to only see Reign of Vengeance, and then with the Reign of Vengeance changes, Strafe is becoming more into the meta. And that breastplate. <sighs> Stop uh, looking at boobs, Savvy. Hey, Save that for the porn afterwards. I'm a dude. What can you say? Yeah. If you don't, you're not a human. Uh, who do you pick up if you're Pepperidge? Pepperidge. Yeah. I would almost want to pick up support before this. Maybe pick up a Brightwing. Maybe not. With both the Globals might be a little tough um, getting the Soak. I love the Tyrael pickup. A nice good Bruiser to get out in the front. He's a solid tank in the meta right now. If you loved it, why didn't you suggest it? Because there's so many options. There's over 50 heroes in the game. I want you to guess. Guess next person. Do it. Zgara. <laughs> you think Zgara? Okay. I think they're going to go healer. Uh, I'm going to say... I think they'd pull a healer say... Morales. I don't know if Morales is... Probably not, but... I would... Personally, I think I'd favor Brightwing over Morales. But I'm Muradin! <laughs> so the double tank stuns from the Muradin. And I got it going a lot of hammer time with the false... Death. It's the hammer dwarfs today. Dwarfs. Uh, who do you ban? I mean... I would probably try to pull away some heals at this point, or... Yeah. Maybe a bit more damage, but I think healers is your best bet. So you're saying ban Brightwing is what you're saying. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to show up or not, but... I mean, who's major heals? Well, I guess Oriole's still up there. Yeah. She's a thing. Oriole, Brightwing, those two would be okay. Go well, okay. the main. So I feel like Contingency is going to go a little squishy. Mm -hmm. Or backline heavy, just based on what I see here. They don't want something that can dive... They're going to uh, need some sort of front line, though. Yes. Oh, I completely agree they're going to need a front line. But they they might not be, say, a double tank front line, is what I'm thinking, based on right. just the draft pickups here. Who do you ban? Do you ban a tank? Like an ETC oh, or Diablo? Yeah. Or Joanna? Yeah. Hey, Maybe one Megaman fan. Thanks for the host, man. Do, 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 do. Yeah, maybe pull the Johanna or the ETC. Curse Hollow, I don't think ETC gets as much value on it, but they pulled the Thrall out. So they're trying... Okay. I could see that, you know, if they go a single tank into a Thrall, it's not a bad front line to put in there. Still a bit on the squishier side, but Thrall can hold his own very easily. So I, li I like the ban. 
There's well, just I'm so glad, many options. I'm glad you like it, Ben. I'm glad they've pleased you. Mm, that's that's it's very tough to please me, so they're doing good. No, just a little tick. Mm, so no, now with... I can't even finish that. <laughs> Um, With the double tank pickup, do you think we're going to see a Tychus? I mean, it works. Yeah. But the question is, does Contingency have anyone who can play Tychus? Uh, I'm pretty sure they will. So with seeing the Sonya, I'm guessing we're going to see one more tank as well. Double healer. Huh. That's not... Well, yeah, double healer... It's it works. Brightwing. The fact with the Brightwing as the second, you can let her soak so much. Mm -hmm. It's it's good. I love the globals on this map. I'm just very curious what they're going to go if they're going to go damage. I think they're going to need to go damage. Oh, I mean, and I don't know if Sonya is enough of a frontline. I mean, who do you go that does damage frontline? Diablo. Yeah. Maybe. Or so Johanna? We, we've got a Rhaegar pickup as the healer for oh, the right. side He's... of Pepperidge Farms. Remembers yeah, and. Too. He's good, and with the double tank, I love him because his lightning shield gets so much value up in front like that. Mm -hmm. So very just a little bounce back and forth action going on. Yeah. And uh, who do you pick? I think more damage, really. Um, yeah, either that Jaina. or a lane pusher. But you've already got the false and split. I'd say a Jaina would be good. You, you've got a lot. Well, you got two front lines, so you'd be all right with a back lane. Bingo! Call Holy it. shit! Fuck you! Savvy called something right. That's crazy. I didn't, I didn't even start the fucking bolt McTurp. <laughs> you can contest. do that. So last time, I'm very torn here. I think they're going to need the damage, but they go with a Chen. Chen can kind of do damage. Yeah, bolt, I'm. But I'm very interested to see how this one's going to go with the. I just don't think contingency has the damage to deal with the Muradin and Tyrael. With Chen. He's got to watch for the stuns, because, you know, if he's drinking and stuns happen, he's, he's hoopeted. Yeah. So, that's the thing. That happened. Oh, boy. So, this will be interesting, guys. We've got a Chen, a Sonya, a Vala, Brightwing. On that side, and on the opposing side, we have Jaina, Tyrael, Murd, and Rhaegar... And false dead. Come on, where's false dead? You can't play Li Ming. You banned her away. <laughs> <laughs> silly, 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 silly. It's all WoW characters. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, he's Diablo. Other okay. Than, well, and same with Bala. She's Diablo. No, on the one team, probably he's thinking. Oh. Or maybe both. I'm not paying too much attention. No, Vala and Sonya's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Vala and Sonya, yeah, so that team's not even close, Oop. but material. Oh, and fun fact, to pause the game, you hit escape and then pause. Oh, I thought there was a keystroke for it, though. Yeah, uh, you're all about the stroking, aren't mm -hmm. you? Gotta, gotta do something to keep myself paying attention. Well, you know, your boyfriend. Wow. Oh, burn. Snap, burn. Snap, okay, oh. guys, so we are in the game. We've got a Div 2 match between Pepperidge Farms Remembers and Contingency. On the left-hand side here, Pepperidge Farms Remembers, we have Afropuff9000 on Tyrael, Flava Flav on Falstead, Doug Funny 13 on Jaina, we've got Kevin11 on <laughs> Murden, and on Rhaegar, we have Dorian. On Malf, we have Ziltoid. On Sonya, we have Thirst. Brightwing, we have Link. Lol. Chen, we have Digi Balls. Digi Boss. Okay, yeah. Vala, we have Helmet Head. Ooh. Boom. Let's go, Contingency versus Pepperidge Farm. Yeah. And as things are going off, guys, we've got a nice split by Contingency. Pepperidge Farms is more sitting mid. But uh, don't forget, you can bet on this in the stream by using your BJs that you get for hanging out here. So. Pick who you think is going to win based on the draft. Yeah, do it. Because, I mean, I set it up, so hey, I don't want that to be on. wasted. Everybody likes a good fun gamble, right? I just thought you were going to say everybody likes a good solid BJ. Um, so well, it looks that, like, that too. I mean, we have a heavy top push from Con... Contingency. I stroked and forgot their name for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stroke yourself on stream, man. Well, you know, uh, Dorian is wrapping out to give Falset some support here. 
But I feel like the three man is still going to get a lot of pressure, drain a lot of tower shots already, which they have. I mean, that's a deadly combo because you can have Chen in there shielding up, plus getting healed, and Vala just pounding away doing damage. Mm -hmm. And Malph just keeping everybody alive and zoning out with the roots. Great yeah. roots on Ooh, Falstead there and blow him up right off the bat. So this top hurts. lane is getting a lot of value, forcing Jaina to run up. I'm Doug, a funny. I'm a little disappointed, though, that with the two versus one mid, they weren't able to get even any shots really off the tower. So slightly disappointing, but we'll see how it goes. It's still early on, only a slight advantage lead for the side of contingency. Congratulations, everyone. You've disappointed Ben. You haven't made him angry. You've Ooh, disappointed him. But Falstead has come into the bottom. Flying. If we can get a stun on her, uh, can it is happen? Down. Nope. Missed the stun. Almost. Good try. Murdered, Trying murdered, to capitalize. Murdered, murdered. Kevin 11, my boy. Gotta get those stuns. <laughs> Just kidding. Those are tough. I know. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so we got the three up top again, just kind of putzing away, taking, trying to take it down. Yeah, but and everybody else is just playing the soak game, right? Both Brightwing and Sonya. It's just let's get some, let's get some doing whatever. minions and experience. Great first position for the side of contingency. They've it's already got the three man up here. They're going to take out the front. I would like to see them take the well out too before this goes down, but they may not be greedy enough. What if there's a cat in it, Ben? That would be rude. Um. <laughs> so we've got four men up here already versus two, but the rest of the side is running up for Pepperidge Farms. We'll see what they can do. Chen's just trying to channel. Everybody else is zoning out. Murden's going in to get the interrupt. I was going to say, I don't know if deep. Chen should have been the f one to be trying to pick it up, but... Sonya's getting fairly low. Same with Melv. We Ooh. have Rhaegar trying to pick it up. Will he do it? He's nope. distracted them. He's backed out. Uh, we have Chen. Tyrael is going down. Tyrell. Chen, having Ooh, a little drink, Sonya. celebrate a little bit. <laughs> Falstead's taking some punches to the chops. Um, still nobody picking it up. They could probably do it. I don't think they have any. Yeah, Malfurion's going to gonna get this. Pepperidge yeah. is just backing off. And it's a smart play. It's only the first one. You don't need to lose a lot of people. Um, they did have the siege pushing through while the curse was coming, so it didn't get much value. But it's a smart thing to do, right? Give something else in lane to deal with while the other team is fighting in because then they have to decide do i take the fight or do we deal with the camp you take the fight <laughs> but do you take fight. the fight if you're gonna die obviously with honor you die <laughs> um i mean other than that the level leads not too crazy uh contingency has about you know uh, with my calculator and my ruler here we got about a quarter level lead <laughs> Other so that, so mathematical there, sir. Yeah. We've got the tribute spawning, the second tribute in the bottom right. So this is on the side of contingency. It'll be a little bit more defensible for them, but it looks oh, like Pepper's Farm dead. is getting down there quicker. The whole team's coming through. Chen and Mouth might have an issue here. Yeah, Chen's, Chen's got trying jump, to get out. But oh, Murdin. Murdin. beautiful jump to zone him out. Though that allows Brightwing to pick up the tribute without any contesting. Golly so geez. is it worth it? A little uh, bit more experience, but not, I don't think, enough to make it completely worth. They really no. wanted the chin. <laughs> yeah. I mean, But it's still know, it's super close a, right now. Super he's close. a cuddly panda. Why not, right? <laughs> um, a cuddly alcoholic panda, so, yeah, you know. Yeah, even better. <laughs> so we've got bruisers getting picked up on the side of Pepperidge Farms. I, I mean, the level leads, very, uh, there's not much of a level lead. Mm -hmm. We're seeing uh, Pepperidge Farms picking up camps. I mean, and now Sonya from Contingency is actually doing that, which I was going to say. They got to start getting their camp game up a little bit. Yeah, and with Sonya, they should be able to, right? They yeah. only need to send one person back to do it. Though, yeah, she should have it down before the next tribute spawns. I mean, and this is this is Maybe. a big tribute. I mean, this is a big one. Pepperidge Farms needs to take it, but Contingency can just leave it. They can just go camp right now and not have to worry about yes. it. Right? Which is, Get the it soap. looks like that's what they're doing, I'm mm -hmm. going to say. I mean, two, uh, maybe Ooh. not. They're there coming might. in. Vala's oh, getting very low back. already. Very low. Yeah, Murden Vala's jumping done. through, getting her down. Malph and Sonya are wrapping up. They should just leave this now. Don't worry about it. Get your soak on. Sonya's a little... Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't jump on her. Ooh. 
Yeah, that would have been the time to do it, I think. Falstead's got to be careful. He's the only one up there. But he does get back behind the wall. Yeah. A uh, little bit of a scrum going here in the middle, dealing with the bruisers that Sonya picked up. Um, other than that, Falstead's being a dwarf on a griffin. Whatever, you know, your regular Monday stuff. <laughs> It's all good. But yeah, the soak game's going on, and now it's the race to 10. Can they get 10 before the next shrine or <laughs> tribute fight? And I think Contingency will be able to. Pepperidge Farms, it'll be very close, and that could secure the tribute to the side of Contingency. I mean, it's pretty close right now, Ben. You mm -hmm. might be eating your own hat. Yeah, that's... And they might not get to 10, so... But I, just be wrong. what I love here... Ooh, ooh, Pepperidge, Pepperidge! Uh Oh. So low on Rhaegar there, and that's going to... They trade for the Vala, which is nice, but I don't think they're going to follow up. Falstead's getting very low, Falstead's. and Sonya is destroying her. Oh. Oh. But it's Yikes. still three to four. Tens have been picked up by the side of Contingency. Strafe picked up. Emerald Wind. Still three haven't been picked up by the others, which is a little interesting. And Ten is getting so close for the side of Pepperidge Farms as well. They're busy fighting. They can't pick up their alts right now. Yeah. That would help. Beautiful them. leap by Sonya was... onto Jada that would just Jada. blow her up. And these tanks need to get out of here. It's not worth it. Like, as much as you don't want to get cursed, not having your healer in behind you and the two of them not having picked up their alts either, <laughs> not great. Not great. And it looks like there's going to be... Where are they going to push? Sonya's going to try to go mid. False is just defending bottom so he can fly up if he needs to. Um, in terms of alts, we've got Ring of Frost, Mighty Gust, Avatar, Sanctification, and um, Ancestral Healing. All exactly what I'd pick up from the side of Pepperidge Farms. And then we've got Twilight Dream, Leap, Emerald Wind, Wandering Keg, and Strafe. So those are basically the go-tos for the side of Contingency as well. As for pushing, it looks like we're pretty, like it's balanced with three, with three, one-on-one, -on -one, one on one Falstead yeah. and uh, Murden. Right. Brightwing aren't oh yeah. <laughs> there's a it's good a push no yeah. it is false that you son of a son of a gun <laughs> no, no no yeah sorry i'm looking up at the top lane right now yeah where they're losing the fort yeah um Falstead should easily be able to push brightwing back mm -hmm. there's not a whole lot brightwing can do i don't think so yeah. i mean they are cursed so and it, it's not bad they've only lost one fort and some front walls down at the bottom interesting wandering cave uh, just to disengage i don't love it I mean, he hit him. Just to say, like, psych, deal with it. I, I think. Yeah. I think that should have been saved because it does have a pretty decent cooldown. Well, it's only about seventy-five seconds, I believe. So it's not horrible. There's much worse ones out in the game, but they're just. Yeah. I don't like this. Like Falstead went up to mid. I don't know why, because they're just well, losing out on the soak bottom. Losing soak. Yeah, we have Sonya picking up um, siege, which is what she needs to do. Tyrael's doing the same thing from Pepperidge Farm. Well, Tyrael and Murda and Rhaegar, which I think is a little bit of an overcommit. One of them should have stayed at least close to the top lane to get that soak in. Get some soak. Or mid. Like, they're they're missing out on soak on one lane that Pepperidge Far or that Contingency is getting. Well, and you can see this, obviously, as Contingency has almost a complete level lead here. Mm -hmm. So, they will have a talent at 13, will they not? Yep. They now have oh. a talent advantage. Boy, I'm learning things, guys. Um, <laughs> and they're going for their boss. Now, it looks like the Pepperidge Farms is just trying to delay, but now they've decided, no, we're going to go for boss two at the same time without seeing anybody on the map. It's a safe call. Grab it while the other team's grabbing it is so much nicer. You might as well. It makes it a bit of an even push. But at the same time, the top uh, fort is down, so... Yeah. Yeah. It'll get, I feel like Contingency will get more value out of it, especially with their pushing with it. It looks like they're trying to go for that um, keep if they all stay up there. They're going ham on this one, boys. Mm -hmm. um, it does look like Pepperidge Farms picking up bruisers. Jane is already headed back. Um, but I feel like you're going to need more than just a Jaina. Yeah, and it's. I like the timing on this. They're able to rotate, grab the bruisers, if I hope they finish it, and then make it there just as the boss hits the wall. Yeah, Falstead flies in, and uh, other than that, Muradin gets up there. Kevin, 11. Front wall's down. I don't know if they can do much more pushing. They can do some poking. May get a little greedy if you get too deep in there. I think they're just going to let this one go. Yeah. And go for the, uh, I mean, oddly, this is working. Oh, Brightwing's doing pretty good on the. 
on the boss. Never yeah. mind. Well, it helps that they've got the fort, but they're going to lose the fort, right? Yeah. So it helps, and they've got bruisers pushing in on the front wall. So lots for the other team to deal with. Good defense there and allowing them to get a good position on the tribute here. Sonya jumped in quite early. Um, yeah, not quite having the full team there, but they've already picked up the tribute on the side of Pepperidge Farm, so I think they can just back out. They don't need to take anything, though it looks, looks like, they, like they, they want, want to. to. They've got the talent tier level, so they want to see if they can take something before Contingency hits 16. Yeah. Uh, contingency has to go deal with the bruisers pushing in, yeah. and, uh, I mean, they'll get rid of that very quickly. Um but they still have about a full level lead. Yeah, a little bit and more than that. Level and a quarter. Uh, oh, you and just... we're going up to yeah, that happened. Interesting. So bruisers with Sonya again, you know, just grabbing as many camps as they can to keep that XP up. I like how Pepperidge started splitting. I would like to see Flavor sitting in one of the off lanes though. That's bothering me slightly. <laughs> Um, they're not utilizing their global to the best of the abilities. Soka lane, right. jump to the fight when you need to be there. You yeah. shouldn't need Falstead laning with Jaina and trying to keep no. that damage together. I would almost like to see the Falstead in, or Jaina in a tank laning together. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, it's uh, contingency split up here, which I, I don't know if it's good um, that they're split up. But. It's interesting, but with the blink heal, it can get back in very easily. Very nice gust by Falsehead to push him back. I don't think anybody was caught in the ring, but I missed it. Beautiful Twilight Dream to get Falstead and Rhaegar pushed out. We're getting rid oh, of Rhaegar and with Beautiful Falstead wandering keg. Beautiful. Will we get a Rhaegar as well? Yeah. We will. And Ethereal goes down. Hand. So that is a three for nothing trade. This is going to be an easy pick up on the side of contingency and their bruisers are going to town mid which means they're probably going to get an easy fort there too we we've got Murden up chased top getting down. chased run my dwarf I feel man. like he's going to get out how do we lose a Tyrion? just barely didn't okay. we didn't that was the fort there's a oh damn you fort they were able to get it they were able to get that one locked down I feel oh Doug funny you could have got Chen I feel is it worth it though Val is, Val is on the backside there, too. She can just turn around and come back. Hey, T-Rex. Thanks, man. We will see you at the next match. We should be... Well, we've got about another 20 minutes to let that's going, so we're we're looking forward to casting. Oh, do, 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 yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so who do we got? We got, I mean, Falstead's pushing on Chen. Ooh, now they're okay, going to get this, Chen. This is worth it. This, this is, is when you... No, I mean... That's a decent ult to get out of there, I guess. Mm -hmm. And even with the Brightwing Blink Heal to get in there and just pick up the... Or, yeah, not even Blink Heal, just her mobility to get in there and give him some heals with his Soothing Mist. Yeah. He's going to stay alive for a long time. I mean, the ult would have been nice for this battle, mm -hmm. but he also would have been dead for the battle, too. Yeah. And this, you know, Pepperidge Farms can afford to give this up because it's only one tribute on the side of contingency right now and i'm glad that false had went to clear that bottom lane because it was getting very big on their fort but the, uh, i don't know who's going to take this it's so tight I mean, it's very close the team fighting is going sanctifications well. down rhaegar is done, done. beautiful Just oh, mm -hmm. Twilight mouth Dream. is getting punished we lose a mouth but we also lose is... a false dead we oh lose a jaina we and lose a murder and that is a full team white on the side of Preppridge farm so very nice job there by the side of contingency they're going to easily get this pickup and right as the boss spawns too this is a free boss for them i have not seen that clean of a wipe since his morning movement um so yeah we got the boss coming <laughs> that was so bad that so was, bad that was not a, not one of my best but it was no. it was a thing and this is going to be so this is going to be free boss here the fort just went down in the bottom lane they're now easily going to be able to rotate top and pick up their boss which is going to force keep as well Pepperidge Farms is way on the back foot right now. This is Pepperidge Farms getting kicked in the freaking groin, you can say. The um, only thing that they can pray for is that the next tribute spawns bottom and soon so that they can pick it up before Contingency before can wrap down from the boss. But with the lanes pushed in the way they are and with the bosses bearing down, a curse isn't even really going to help them. It's going to take a long time for their lanes to push back out to the point where they can take a keep or a fort from it. 
Yeah, but it's better they get it than Contingency gets it. I completely agree. So, I mean, there is a th or almost three-level lead. Yeah, and 20s are going to come up very soon on the side of Contingency. Yeah. Really, Pepperidge Farms needs to be able to take a fight now before 20s is hit. And I think there uh, looks like Contingency is going to try and contest it. Yeah. They might They've not got... be able to make it down in time. I actually, it feels like they're running back and forth too much. Yeah, They've just... they're like, do we do it? No. And then they're like, no, we don't do it. Let's just push with this thing. Um, and honestly, I'm okay with that. Like the curse I mean, isn't going to get any value because the lanes are so pushed right now. They're going to get a free keep by the time that they can come back. False says flying in, but he's going to get blown up if he's not careful. Yeah. And uh, I mean, boss in there is absolutely deadly. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just going to wreck that thing. Boss not affected by the curse. Fun fact, everybody. Yeah. In case you didn't know. Falstead uh, getting very low. Brightwing jumping oh, in. Oh, beautiful there. leap. Falstead is down. Excellent. Twilight Dream to get the silence. Oh. Beautiful ring by Jaina to try to slow things down, but we lose Falstead. the Rhaegar and the Tyrael. Holy shit. Holy guacamole. <coughs> things are heating up here, and now we're just doing straight core damage. Yeah. This might be the end. I think it is. Murden's going to go in and try to pass her, but there's just too much damage coming out from the side of Contingency. Yeah. Very nice finish by Contingency there. I, I love the play. Just decided, no, let them take the curse and go from it there. Ben always loves a good finish, folks. Oh, yeah. Gotta have a good finish. This crappy finish always sucks. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So, it's, very uh, good game, guys. Great play. Great play. I, I felt like it was very, very stalemated most of the game, and then Contingency just slowly got their foot up which is uh, very enjoyable, very enjoyable to watch. Savvy, what are you seeing? Um, I'm seeing uh, a stat screen <coughs> with a lot of people on it. And, I mean, Falstead did pretty good. He had a lot of siege damage, a lot of hero damage. But I just think Chen is, like, he's up there, man. Mm -hmm. like, well, Chen... as, a, as a tank, he's, he's doing things as a tank, yeah. which is, you know... Well, and that's that's the one that you always say is that you feel like tanks aren't really the full they movement make wars on everything. They don't do stuff. But they're this, just there. And this change, you know, the chases he did, be able to take down that Muradin, take down the Jaina in the top lanes earlier on. It's he's got it. His mobility is nice. Yeah, it's uh, he's a big man, but he can move around. Yeah, and like Odin saying in chat here, it's you know Chen might be starting to get up there in the top contested tanks fairly soon, which I am a okay with. So Fox. I'm gonna give it to Chen just because uh, bucket tanks need some more al boost here. Yeah, uh, Ben, what about you? I love the Sonya leaps personally. Like I'm I'm thinking of plays that I just was like. Damn, that was beautiful. And even that, that that leap right at the end, landing the entire team in it, like, way to lock them down and secure kills. I Great thirst on your positioning there and knowing when to go in. I, I quite enjoyed watching that. So I, I give you the the most valuable jumper there. Wow. Overtake okay. Jen. <laughs> so on that note, that was a Div 2 match between Pepperidge Farm Remembers and Contingency. And Contingency had a plan. A contingency yeah. plan and they won ooh, eh? ooh. that so, was so good on that note thanks for watching don't forget comment like subscribe share see you next time bye see you guys just kidding that was a you